Hi, my name is uh, Stéphane Lassage from Devia in Belgium, and today we will have a look at how you can set up your virtual machine and your Mac to develop cross-platform applications using uh, Delphi XE2 and uh, FireMonkey. As you can see, I'm running uh, Windows within a virtual machine on my Mac using uh, VMware Fusion. It is also possible to work the other way around, have a virtual machine uh, running uh, OS X in Windows, but uh, I found it easier to use it this way. In that virtual machine, I have installed Delphi XE2 using the default settings and default paths. So right now I have uh, a few things to configure so I can uh, develop and uh, debug or run applications on my Mac system. In order to do this, you will have uh, to install a tool called Platform Assistance, and you should be able to find that tool on your uh, virtual machine, your Windows machine. Uh, have a look on my computer, uh, see Program Files, Embarcadero, Rad Studio 9, and then you should find a folder here, PA Server, which is the Platform Assistance Server. Within that folder, you can find a zip file, and you should move that zip file to your Mac uh, machine. So I will simply copy it by dragging it over to my Mac. Here it is. Okay, the file has been copied. So I'm, now I can uh, simply on my Mac uh, double click it to extract it. And you will find an icon here, uh, which can be used to install the PA server on my Mac. Simply double click the uh, installer, press OK, and the system will install itself. Simply follow the dialog, read whatever is in the dialog boxes. Next, this will install the platform assistant, uh, assistant. agree to the license. Next, now it will ask me where to install the uh, PA server. I will use the default location. Next, it gives me a little overview, install and now the system will start installing. As you can see, it gives me uh, the path uh, where the PA server has been installed, so it should be easy to find now. Done. Now, in order to be able to run or debug applications uh, on my Mac, I will have to run the platform assistant server on my Mac. So I can use my finder uh, to locate the PA server application. I will first minimize this window so it's easier to see. And now uh, in OS X, in the finder window, navigate to your user's application path. And there you should find Embarcadero. PA server, and here you will find the PA server. In order to run the platform assistant server, you can simply uh, double click the file and it should start a terminal window. And here you should enter the password for your user account. And as you can see, the platform assistant is now started on port 64211. Now we're ready to make the configuration on the uh, uh, Windows side and the virtual machine. Okay, we're now ready on the uh, Mac side of things, so we can switch back to our uh, virtual machine. And I can simply start uh, Delphi XE2. Here it is. And from here we can create our first uh, FireMonkey cross-platform uh, application by simply using File, New, FireMonkey application, or FireMonkey HD application. Here we go, we have a form and let's uh, simply make a, a Hello World application, for example. You can uh, throw a button on the form by uh, picking it from uh, the tool panel, or you can simply use the EDE inside, control and dot in my case, and I can add a button, simply type it in, button, uh, drag and drop or double click, for example. 
you have added a new button. Let's position it. Let's say I also have a label of an start ID inside again. Uh, T label. Press enter. We position it. And let's say we will also add an edit box. Reposition it. Set a few properties. For example, you could you change the name. Uh, edit a name. Button. Say hello. And label hello world. I will remove the default captions or make something uh, better. The text. And now we can add some code using the Delphi uh, code editor, for example. You can use all the default uh, stuff uh, found in Delphi, of course. I've defined a name. Uh, I can declare a variable for that using the refactoring method or simply pressing uh, Shift, Control, and V. It will ask me what type it should be, uh, string. I can try that out. Let's see if this works in Windows. Run it. I can type in my name. Say hello. Hello, Stefan. Nothing uh, spectacular. But as you can see, it uh, already works in, in Windows. Now, if I would like to add uh, the same thing or run it on OS X, it's simply a matter of adding a new platform to the target. So right click on the targets in the Project Manager, add a new target, let's say OS X, OK. And now right click on the OS X uh, and pick Assign Remote Profile. And from here you can create a remote profile. So I will give it name, uh, Mac Pro, next. I should uh, give uh, the host name or uh, the IP address of your Mac machine. Let's see, in my case, I can find that in the preferences. I think sharing, I should be able to find it. No, uh, sorry, it's network. Network, here is my IP address, 10.015. Let's copy that, paste it in here. The port number. I remember the port number from the PA server. <clears throat> so that's the default port number, it should be alright. Give a password and test the connection. The connection succeeded. Use the default paths. Finish. And now I have created a remote profile for uh, my Mac. So I can simply press OK and try to run it on the Mac. Let's minimize this window. I have my form with the same features. Uh, type in my name, Stefan, press say hello, and the label will appear. Okay, as we have seen, it is uh, simply a matter of adding a new uh, platform to my application and uh, running it, and it will run on the Mac. Additionally, you can also debug it from here. I could add a breakpoint and say run it and the system will run it on the Mac side of things, but still I will be able to debug it on my virtual machine. I can type in the name EEE, -E -E, press the button. And as you can see, it stops in my uh, IDE, Delphi, Delphi IDE, and I can simply uh, debug it. I could use run trace into 
check the settings and notice that indeed my uh, variable, my string variable, contains the text I should be using. And I could use a uh, Shift F8 or F8 to continue or F9 to run or any of these options, step into, trace into, to debug my application. And that's actually uh, the way you should do it or the way you can do it. As you have noticed, it is uh, very simple to create an, an OS X application using a FireMonkey in uh, Delphi XE2. And it is pretty easy to debug that application once it is running on uh, OS X as well. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will be showing you how you can uh, configure your system uh, in order to use FireMonkey and Delphi XE2 to build and run iOS applications. See you next time in the next video.